Welcome to Parkour, the home of the New Saints. I'm walking out the main building down to the ground and you can see there fields. That's typical of Welsh football. Many of the grounds anyway, some are in a more urban, no phone slip in there, some are in a more urban environment such as Barrytown United, others like the New Saints surrounded by fields. And often when I've been here, whether it's for training or a game, I've heard and seen ravens, buzzards, missile thrush singing. It's fantastic. Welsh football, I love it. I'm going down now to the ground itself and the players will be out shortly. So I'll do a little bit of filming of them as they prepare for tonight's match day 28 against Carnarvon Town. Carnarvon Town down to 10 men. Penalty to the New Saints. And the substitution has been made as Hudson comes on for Astles. That's not the centre stage though at the moment. It's Draper. His penalty was saved on Saturday by the Carnarvon, by the Connors Key keeper. He's up against Brass now from Carnarvon. Steps forward, right footed, and it's in the back. Oh, he's missed. Draper misses. Just for a moment, it looked like it went in the back of the net, but it didn't. Draper curl that just wide. It's still nil nil at a parkour. What does this do now to the season that remains? Yeah, well, listen, it makes it very difficult for us, of course. I know um, uh, the, the rivals are playing tomorrow night. Um, they would obviously have been seeing this game and watching this game, and we've got to go there on Saturday and get a result. And... I'm back home. It ended nil-nil, so a very disappointing night for the New Saints. The title race is very much now in favour of Connors Key Nomads. I've just done all the post-match stuff. I've had two pieces of toast, a cup of tea. It's pushing 1am and I'm off to bed because I've also got to be up early in the morning as well. Back to work. No rest for the wicked, as they say.